Hi, my name is Tomasz Poszytek and in this video uh, I will show you how you can cancel any approval process that uh, is pending uh, in your environment. So uh, basically the goal uh, around cancellation or the, the, the major information about cancellation is that if you are an initiator of the approval workflow, of the approval process, you are able to navigate to uh, action items, then approvals, and under approvals, when you navigate to send, you can simply um, hit on any uh, pending approval process, this button to cancel, and that will simply cancel that approval process. However, um, if you are not an if you are not an, initi an initiator, or if the initiator is uh, absent, is unavailable, and the workflow cannot be canceled this way, the only way you can do that is to simply uh, navigate to Dataverse and use information stored in Dataverse because likely all the information around approvals is stored in Dataverse uh, tables within the environment where the approval process has been initiated. Just one small um, information on a side note. As, an, as a side note, if you're interested in how the whole approvals uh, solution works, uh, how the information is stored, what is happening uh, with data uh, in each scenario, I highly encourage you to watch my other YouTube videos where I'm describing really in a very, very deep details uh, how this all uh, solution, how this whole approvals mechanism works um, in Power Automate. So, um, well, now back to the topic. All right, so again, I have uh, my flow that is called uh, Send Lots of Tasks that I will now trigger. So we have uh, a running instance that I will be able to cancel. All right, it's running and it's done. I have as well built a flow that is called Cancel Tasks. Um, it's quite simple. Let me show you how it works. Um, basically, what it uh, needs as an input information is only the request, uh, the approval ID, so the identifier of that specific approval process that you want to cancel. Why? Because the only thing that is happening uh, during the approval uh, cancellation is happening within the approval table, right? So this is the input variable, uh, input variables plus the information who canceled that workflow and the comments, so just some supportive comments. And then what the workflow is actually doing is simply uh, getting information from the users table about the user who canceled the task. Then it's as well getting information about the approvals and is as well getting um, the flow notification URI. So the uh, URL that has to be called so that the flow is going to be resumed after it is canceled, after the approval is canceled. And lastly, uh, it is concatenating or composing the request body that is going to be sent to that flow notification URI. Uh, with those details about the cancellation. And lastly, uh, that workflow is calling that flow notification URI so that the, uh, the workflow that is waiting for the approval process to be completed is going to be resumed. All right, so now I'm going to test it. Um, the assign lots of tasks uh, workflow is running. It has been triggered like a minute ago. So now what I have to do is to navigate to um, approval table. I should have it here. And then I need to find a record that has been generated. Oh, that's why I need to switch to all columns. And I need to find the record that has been generated on February 10th, 2020 on uh, 10 a.m. So there is nothing on the first page. So again, I need to scroll down to see more records. Right, and then let's see if this is present here. Right, there it is. So that's the record. Here is this approval ID that I have to copy and provide it to uh, as a request or input parameter for my flow. I will use myself uh, as the person who canceled and comments all right so uh, let's hit it and see how it works uh, well one important information is that once this workflow operation is completed the record related to that approval process is marked as inactive with a status reason cancelled so let me just uh, here it is. 
Oh gosh. Right? So where that was? The result is cancelled. Uh, uh, the uh, current status of that approval task is as well inactive. I mean, right? So <laughs> this has, these are those um, dictionary values, but trust me, uh, if I just go through these, um, these data, there should be some, I'll just switch it to edit mode for a while, just to show you what, what is happening there. So this action is actually updating that related approval uh, record and is marking it as cancelled and uh, inactive, right? So this way it won't be then possible to complete any more tasks. Now, if I switch back to uh, my running instance, you'll see that it is actually now completed successfully. And in the response uh, contents, I can see all this information I just passed. So uh, who cancelled the response? What was like, what is the response on the whole approval process? Plus, uh, in this response summary, uh, there is information. Uh, so in the responses, there is as well the information uh, about the comments that I have typed in. So this way, you can actually cancel any pending workflow that is uh, running within your environment. And well, having that said, I hope you find it useful. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and until the next time, bye-bye.